is my first morning. Um, a lot of people think that I'm still a week behind in my videos. I'm not. I'm actually about a day behind. So I'm fairly current. Um, my trip, my car is covered with bugs now, so I'm at the car wash um, getting it uh, fixed. And then I'm going to go to Walmart and buy a window air conditioner. Right now, my air conditioner is working fine, um, but it's really loud. And at this point, it has to be on pretty much 24 hours a day. And I'm really concerned that if it quits working, it's going to be really bad. Um, it was 110 degrees in my cabin when I got back yesterday afternoon, and I don't want to have to be in there even for a minute at that temperature. It is stifling. So I'm going to get an con air conditioner just for backup. Um, Parker's back to normal. Um, he is was really happy to be home, but he didn't say, I swear, he didn't say a word all the way home. He was mad at me. I don't know if I can ever leave him again, but he'll he'll be okay. So anyway, see you in a bit. Oh, and a couple of people asked me how I felt the next day after the buffet. Shockingly, I slept all night. It didn't keep me awake. I didn't get any stomach issues from it. I'm really surprised, um, but if I did that more than once, I'm sure it would it would not be a good thing. But I'm glad I did it. It was fun, and now back to keto. Somebody left a comment saying, hashtag go keto, hashtag tomorrow, and it's it. Yep, tomorrow's another day. So anyway, back on keto now with cream in my coffee. Okay. So I'm sitting here at the car wash and there is a mama sitting on eggs up there and the daddy keeps bringing her a new, um, well I don't know that she's sitting on eggs yet, but he brings the twigs and she's making the nest and he goes back to get another one and brings it to her and she starts weaving it in and out. It's really interesting. I hope he comes back while we're sitting here. Oh, she dropped a piece. Another one. So did any of you catch the uh, police pursuit in California last night? It lasted three hours. I watched it live online. It was really interesting and shockingly there were no um, crashes and it ended peacefully. He was arrested. She went to the hospital. It was a domestic situation. I haven't seen any follow-up yet today. I'll have to look that up. Man, I feel sorry for those guys at the car wash in the uh, hundred degree weather. Oh, can you imagine working like that? Ugh. Way too hot. They work really hard. I drove off and wasn't even thinking and forgot to tip them, so turned around and went back. I just, I feel so bad for them. I have no idea how much they make per hour, but um, not enough, I guarantee it. Well, I was hoping to get one that fits into the smallest window of my um, trailer, but none of them are small enough. So I'm going to end up having to put it in the big window. Um, now I just have to decide how many BTUs. I don't think 5,000 is enough. And I think 8,000 is more than enough, 6,000 is probably just right. Can't wait to see the bruises from picking up that air conditioner. It'll take a couple days, but I bruise so easily.
getting old, thin skin. So I just got this, this in the mail from Totally Kathy. She made that. That is so cute. And she also sent me Totally Kathy stickers. If you don't know Totally Kathy, totally look her up. I get a lot of questions about keto and if I use any uh, recipe books or what is keto, etc., etc. And I just wanted to show you this book that I got at Walmart last week. Five Ingredients Ketogenic Diet, but I don't think they um, count herbs and spices in the five ingredients. And this um, book talks about what exactly keto is and um, what ketosis is. And it has lots of recipes. The only thing that I would change about this book is there isn't a lot of pictures and I like pictures and recipe books but other than that I think it's a great book so if you're at all interested five ingredient ketogenic diet cookbook at Walmart well as it turns out the air conditioner I bought doesn't fit into my bigger window either so, I did find one on Amazon and ordered that, plus I ordered installation because it's really heavy and I just am not going to be able to lift it up by myself and put it in the window. So, it's $100 for the installation. It's worth it to, to have somebody do it that knows what they're doing. I know it's not that big of a deal. If I had it had a house with lower windows, I could do it, but this will just be easier. So I'm on my way back to Walmart to take that one back. For tonight's keto dinner, I'm having chicken alfredo on rice cauliflower. And um, the cauliflower is sautéed in avocado oil. And the chicken is also sautéed in avocado oil with butter and heavy whipping cream, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt and pepper. Sorry about the shadows, you guys, but it is what it is. Good night, everybody. Go Keto!